Uh, all right, so you ready? Yeah. All right, look up here. Yeah, so on this segment of the worst day, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to talk about my brother and shit, you know what I'm saying? I lost my brother May 16th, 2017, you know what I'm saying? And that was the worst day of my life, you know what I'm saying? And so uh, basically I'm going to start with the little clipping right here. You can see, you know what I'm saying? Three charged with murder in Oxnard Slings, you know what I'm saying? Two people was killed that night. Basically, motherfuckers went on a robbery spree, you know what I'm saying? And my brother, he was just coming home from the gym, and then his apartment complex is like a little alleyway and shit. And so, you feel me? It's like a blind side. So, he pull up from um coming from the gym, three motherfuckers approaching, you feel what I'm saying? They they try to rob him, whatever. He try to, you know, fight him off. He run. They shoot him two times in his stomach. So they shoot him two times in his stomach, and he passed away. And the next morning, I ain't finding out till the next morning. Next morning, I get a call. And first thing I hear is, um, your brother got killed last night. Somebody killed your brother. I said, what? Because I'm, I'm just waking up. So I'm like, what? Like, your brother just got killed. And I hang up the phone. I'm like, all right. I hang up the phone. I call my auntie. She the first one I call. I'm like, man, they talk about this nigga double A just got killed. Woo, woo, woo. So she like, what? Now she's hysterical, screaming and all the shit. She start like calling other motherfuckers in the family. I'm still trying to like sit there and think like what was just told to me. I'm like, man, hell no. So then you feel me? It's just got real. I start getting phone calls from family, everybody, motherfuckers tapping in, seeing what's going on. They calling up to the hospital and shit, trying to identify the body. This is all type of little crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's the worst day of my life. You know what I'm saying? I got hella different pictures with my brother in here on the obituary. You know what I'm saying? Hella memories. A lot of motherfuckers from school, They, you know what I'm saying? They be seeing me and shit, and they, they tell me keep my head up, shit like that. And it's like, you know what I mean? It ain't nothing that a motherfucker can really explain. The feeling, you can't really explain it, but at the same time, it's something that you know is, is there. It happened. You can't do nothing to change it, and you got to just still live with your life and push every day. And that's the fucked up part because it's like, damn. You know what I'm saying? And it wasn't supposed to be like that. But shit. You know what I'm saying? This is what it, this would be the circumstances you be people be like going through life and shit. And it'd be shit that had happened, you feel what I'm saying? And they can't do nothing but accept that shit and just move on. Like they gotta just continue with their life. You feel me? Like this man got two kids, son, daughter, and you know what I'm saying, and they gonna grow up and, and wonder why it had to happen or whatever. And they ain't gonna never know, they ain't gonna never get the answers. But this, you know what I'm saying? Some come with this life shit, real life, you know what I'm saying? So but it done motivated me, and it just made me want to um, push this music and shit so I can keep his name lit, keep our legacy lit for the motherfuckers that knew us growing up in school because we two years apart, 24 months. So it's like motherfuckers, when they used to see me, they'd see him from sports, whatever, baseball, basketball, whatever. So I be having to, you know what I'm saying, keep this shit lit, uphold the name, you know what I'm saying? Let motherfuckers know we still out here. But yeah, but on a on a positive note though, is like I'm taking all what done happened, you feel what I'm saying, and I'm trying to push it towards positive thinking, you feel me? Trying to live, you feel what I'm saying? Now it make me want wanna live more than anything, you feel what I'm saying? Because I done lost so much. Now I really wanna live. I wanna be the you feel me, the one to where I can be like, okay, bro, this is what we did, bro. Yeah, you gone, you somewhere in heaven, you watching me. But look what we did, look how far we done came. So that's why we pushing this music. You feel what I'm saying? And and that's what I'm on right now. Like, I'm trying to keep it positive. I'm trying to think of different ways that I can create shit, original shit, you feel what I'm saying, and turn that shit into something positive so I can tell my story. So at the end of the day, I could be like, okay, yeah, I lost my brother. And you feel me? That's fucked up. But look what I, what I was able to do. You feel what I'm saying? So that that's, you feel me? And that's my message to anybody damn near that done lost somebody mom, dad, sister, cousin, whoever, whatever, or you done went through some shit, whatever, got shot, whatever. You feel what I'm saying? You got to keep pushing past that shit. You can't just, you feel me? You can't just lay down and be like, oh, I'm done with life. I want to commit suicide. It don't work like that. Like, you feel what I'm saying? You got to stay fighting. You know what I'm saying? So, it's what we doing.